Fakatane. We are today finally going to the White Island. It's actually our third attempt and the first two were cancelled because of the bad weather and today it's just perfect. And the tour is here. We already have our tickets. Those weird looking things are actually tickets to the tour and yeah uh, the boarding starts in five minutes so we're about to go on boat i think the trip there takes about 80 minutes but we'll see everything as it comes I didn't expect White Island to be that cool. I mean, yeah, what else can you expect from a volcano? But still, after living for a year in New Zealand, you kind of get used to those insane epic landscapes. But this, when our boat arrived to White Island, I was like, oh my god, it's like out of the movies. I, I don't know how to describe it, you just have to be here to see it. It's so amazing. The magma is only three to five kilometers underneath our feet and I can literally feel how hot it is there. They told us that there are lots of cameras around the White Island which are measuring possibilities of eruptions or an earthquakes that are actually happening here several times per day, but sometimes they are so small that you can't notice them. over the air, I can hear the sound, I can smell it. So we were actually given lollies because they tend to ease the smell and it becomes easier to breathe. And we were also given these gas masks. Alex is already wearing his, I will show you in a sec. And if you feel that it's too difficult for you to breathe there, you just breathe through the mask. and everything is just insane it's an unbelievable power of nature when you see the photos you don't hear what we hear right now you don't smell it and it's just I, i'm speechless i'm literally speechless because like it is a good reminder of how powerful the nature is and how important it is to be aware of it and to to help it to survive
looks aggressive. It looks like the other planet where people never landed on their spaceships. But actually once in the history it was inhabited. People lived here, but not because they enjoyed this specific island, but because they were mining the sulfur, which was really important. And we're actually now at the remains of the old factory where people used to do all those dangerous and unknown to me things with the sulfur. They used to live here for many years. Can you imagine that? They had a contract for three months, but they could extend it. And because this job was so well paid, some of them lived here up to eight years. It's 1 p.m. now, we are back on the boat and we are given lunch. Everyone who, are, who have survived the tour to White Island is given a lunch. There is a huge sandwich, looks quite healthy. An apple and a small chocolate. Oh no, that's not, that's not all. There is actually a cookie underneath. So yeah, it's quite a big, fulfilling lunch and we come to start eating it. White Island Tours, the company that helped us to achieve my dream today, uh, they don't only have uh, several boats on the pier, they also have like a whole hotel just across the road from the pier and they have a nice cafe here with an outdoor terrace so we decided to stop here for a quick coffee fix. After that I think we'll go back to Tauranga, it was an amazing day filled with emotions. Some, some of my dreams came true today because to be honest I dreamed to see White Island since the moment we arrived here and I hope you enjoyed it as well. It's just, it's just impossible to show the beauty of this place on the video, but we did our best and let us know what you think about it in comments and see you soon. Bye bye!